Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV, Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. Now, if you're just joining us, we're talking about something that was trending online yesterday. A woman that has her own wax business and her daughter uh, joined in. Her daughter is five years old, and here's the news report. A mother is in jail after police say her daughter helped to wax clients at a waxing studio. Texas, Memphis hold. Police say that child was only five years old. Investigators charged Jasmine Moss with child neglect. Police say last week they got several calls about disturbing images involving a young girl on social media. Memphis police say those images were on Moss's Instagram, which she uses to promote her hair removal services. She claims on the post her daughter waxed 24 clients for more than eight hours making more than $700. Moss is now charged with child abuse and neglect, and she is expected in court tomorrow. So we're asking 800-585-1051, what are your thoughts? She getting Jess? charged? Yeah, she is getting charged. She was arrested. I think that's crazy. Um, huh. I mean, I, I do. I think it's crazy um, that, that she's being sent to jail. So what's going on with the little girl? Child Protective Services, what's going on? Uh, they haven't said what's going on with the girl, but the mother was arrested. Mm. Well, I can see why the mother was arrested. Because the girl is five. And, yeah. you know, this yep. is against the law because it violates the child labor laws in this country. Yeah. She's not 16. Mm -hmm. And you can't work in hazardous environments under the age of 18. And hazardous? Wa waxing random vaginas, <laughs> especially hazardous. in the spring and summer, <laughs> that could be considered hazardous. Uh, <laughs> okay. it, probably, it, could, it could be considered so, stinky, so, yeah. for sure. And definitely still hazardous. I mean, it's hot wax. I get yeah, it. It's man. all of that. Um, Discharge. I don't... What? All of that. Yeah, it's all of that. Her teaching a baby girl about it so early is crazy. I still don't think she should have went to jail. I, like I said, I don't know what else could have happened. Right. But jail is a little... Harsh. But she's only going to jail because the girl is five. Well, and, like, and that's, you, a and, that's a violation of child labor laws in America. Like, period. Like, we always, you always hear people have these conversations about, oh, they got little kids, you know, working in factories, making, putting together our phones. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. Like, and none you know, of them go to jail, yeah. Well, I mean, that's because it's in a different country. <laughs> right, yeah, right. So, in a different country, it's, it's. I feel you. What I, I think happened, she, she. Uh, her daughter, she couldn't get a babysitter or whatever. And her daughter, she let her daughter in the room. She started doing this type of stuff. And her daughter's like, oh, I want to do what mommy do. That's the only way that a of child course. would say, right. I want to do what mommy do if, you, if you're around what mommy do. And then she she showed her. She got happy. She might have been a little good with it. These kids are advanced. She got too comfortable with it. The wrong person saw it. And that's what happened. She's five, man. Yeah, she, she's the, five. The, the, the U.S. banned child said. labor in 1938. She's five. Well, I, don't, I don't think she was working eight hours a shift. She was there with her mom. Don't matter. Right. She's five. She ain't supposed to be working at all. <laughs> she, I, don't think, I don't think she was working. <laughs> That's like she's not working. Drive at five. She's five. <laughs> she's, she's not, not supposed to be driving at five. She's not working. She's hanging out with her mom. Hello, Sonny. Hello. She was working. You ain't seen the picture we saw. Hello. Who's this? Uh, Sonny, Good morning. Sonny, right? Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, Sonny. Sonny. Hey, Sonny. What's your thoughts? So my thing, we don't say anything when we see these kids in the the small mom and pop shops working with their family, the Chinese food restaurants working with their family. And you understand, this woman is teaching this child generational wealth. This woman is teaching the child how to work for what you're getting. And not for nothing, those waxes, depending on what they're getting, be $100 a shot. It's harder to teach than it is to learn. So I highly doubt she was doing it all by herself. She could have been doing for eight hours, eight hours in, in total, she could have been doing one person an uh, hour. That's 700 bucks plus tips. That can come up to the eight and change. Yeah, but she's five. Mm -hmm. so, so Sonny is saying yeah, when you go to the Chinese food spot, sometimes you see, you know, yeah. the, the owner's child. Or if yeah. you go to the bodega, you'll see the owner's child in there working. You're saying working. it's the same thing. It, it, how old is the child? Exactly. You'll be My seeing five, six year olds in there. Young. That's they illegal. Start young. That's hold illegal. Up, hold up, hold up. So the thing with this also is how many Chinese food restaurant ads and commercials do you see out, out, out in, like, on the TV and everything? None, right? But yep. we always frequent them. We always go to them and everything else. This woman has to rely on her social media in order to get her name out there, in order to get her clientele. If her clients ain't complaining, then why are we? The That's the thing. A client did complain. I think. I think it was one no, that I actually. She, I, caught I thought the they picture. said it. Really? I thought they posted it online and people were complaining about the post she put on her Instagram. Oh, she because posted it. Yeah, she posted it. Oh, girl. He had twenty five clients or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who are these freaky ass so clients that ain't complaining? Why are these freaky ass clients okay with a five year old coming in there waxing them? Maybe. Or maybe the client or uh, understand exactly what I'm saying as far as you're teaching her at an early age. How to make that money? How to get? I'd rather her teach her how to make money doing that, and teach her how to money make uh, to to can get I, it from there. Can, can I ask you a question, ma'am? Would you let a five year old give you a wax? 
no. Okay. But at the same time, but at the same time, as I said, to each their own. That's, no. that's how I feel about it too So we say oh no If I walk inside of a wax, waxing center And a five year old is dead Nah <laughs> But I'm not gonna post about it I'm not gonna be like Yo they had this five year old She ain't get exactly. to touch me Alright cool You exactly. know Like make your money Yeah The youngest age to work in child labor <laughs> Is 14 In America I mean that is the truth But like she said I've been at, at, at places Where you see five six year olds working You don't know if they working They just in there with their parents they just in there. They're not being put to work. <laughs> like, what are we no, talking about? Nobody care about laws of America no other time. But now the five-year-old want to do waxes. Now we talking about laws of America and everything. Hello, who's this? <laughs> Yo, this is Walter Scott from out of Indianapolis. What's up, Walter? What's, What's up, your Walter? Thoughts? What's going on with it? How you doing, Walter? Talk to us, Walter. What's your opinion? Man, they wrong for putting those wolf giants in those baby faces. I feel like, you. <laughs> what? Like, you know, you see, those wolf giants. Oh, oh, he said those wolf. He said they wrong for putting those wolf giants in, in that baby face. I feel you. I feel you with that. Yeah, like she could, she couldn't wax any, she couldn't <laughs> wax any other area. I mean, if it was a male, we'd be out flipping. Out. Man, but no, no nigga, better not lay down ask for no wax. <laughs> I mean, I ain't saying that they don't, but don't go. Do, ain't no five year old. I don't think she have no. a five year old in there. Why no man no. is in there with his legs up trying to get his bow wax show? I don't think that. Jesus Christ! <laughs> All right, eight hundred five eight five one zero five one. If you're just joining us, we're talking about a story that was trending the last couple of days. This mom and her five year old child was on. I guess she was posting pictures of her daughter waxing women. And she was arrested for it, and people are up in arms. Let's discuss this. The Breakfast Club. Good morning. If y'all talking about it, you know we talking about it. It's topic time. Call 800-585-1051 to join into the discussion with The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ NV Jess Hilarious, Charlemagne the Guy. We are The Breakfast Club. If you're just joining us, we're talking about this young lady from Tennessee who was arrested. Uh, she has a business where she does waxing, and her five-year-old daughter, I guess, was helping her out. She posted the picture, and she's been arrested about it, and people have been talking about it. And we have, uh, what's your name? Anonymous from Houston. Anonymous from Houston. What's your thought? It's the radio, sir. We can't see you. you, don't, you, don't, you don't That's have fine. To... Yes. I just, I just feel like it wasn't a problem when Swiss Beat Son made a, made a, made a beat at five years old for the untied of master. But now a child is doing something with her mom, and that was the problem. Yeah. I don't. Where think... was the, where was the issue when Swiss Beat Son made a beat? I he was five years old. I, I don't think that's, that's the same thing because <laughs> you can make a beat. At five years old, on your own, they sell instruments for five years old. They sell the little keyboards and the guitars and but things. But he was like in that. the studio with his father, who is a a well known beat maker or or producer. So we know he was in there for hours with his father. Yeah, but he's not. Ma- he's not. He's not there. making his child work by making a beat. I don't think. I think that's a false equivalency. Sure I don't think she was. I'm pretty sure making, she wasn't she was making her child work, work, work like this. Larry said. I'm so pretty sure just, the child seen her mom doing so it. About, like, she definitely needed to be arrested right now. Then. What? She, what she definitely need to be arrested. If she wasn't making her I, child work and her child was just in there playing, oh, there's a vagina. I, Go ahead, take this. I, I'm sure she wasn't playing. She probably seen her mom working and said, I want to try what mommy's doing, just like any other child would do. Exactly. And like I said, this mom probably does not have um babysitter. A babysitter. You know, all right. that. Like, well, so she left. Le- this makes to sense to him. Well, the neglect, well, see, well, well just listen to what he's just well, saying. Let me explain it to him because he's, he, he, he's seeing it different. Yeah, you're right. Swiss B's son made a, di- a, a, a beat. Mm-hmm. But the problem was is this child is saying is around hot wax where she can be burned at the age of five they're saying that it's dangerous but she, was, she was supervised by an adult just like it don't was matter she's adult. waxing somebody's vagina you can't be serious bro who did y'all call, <laughs> did, 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 okay, when told you put it that way it does sound crazy what? but it, when when you're in school and you're in science class you're uh, you're you're doing stuff that's supervised by adults not as at long as five you're yeah, yeah, okay, that's fine. You're right. Five years old sounds crazy. But still, nobody had a problem when a child does something at five with a celebrity, but when it's a regular person, now she's going to jail. I think it's stupid. Okay. Thank you very sense. much, Thank Anonymous, you, from here. This is hot wax and vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he was making hot fire in the studio at five, and, and it's the same. Hot wax, hot fire. There you go. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Yo, this is T-803. 
Hey, what's up, Metro? Bubba? What's your thoughts, man? Ah, uh, what up? Hey, man. Um, I don't really say that she need to be arrested for it. And, and in this case, I think it's how she done it. She didn't put it on social media, man. Everything gave admit, but it, I understand she's trying to teach her daughter the game. But she should have done that in her own personal space, maybe just on her and not the client. But it, it, it just, it's just how, how you do that. I just don't know what client is going to let a five-year-old wax you. Obviously, it was a bunch like, of 24 make no clients. Because they probably freaks. <laughs> Hello, who's they this? They probably all need to have signs yeah, in their yard. Mac, man. Hey, Mac, what's up, bro? What's your, what's your opinion? So, yo, I, I agree. And then and here's why I agree. I, I'm, I'm saying comfortable with old girl doing that. Just because potentially she could be teaching her child how to take over the business one day. She's five. She's five. She's five. She's five. She's five. She five. <laughs> Max says she don't. Max ain't okay. Just teaching the family business. But she's right. She's right there with her. She's right there with her daughter. It's not like she's left alone. Now I'm saying if she now she's left alone, that's different. But her mom right there guiding her and showing her how it's supposed to be done. Then I mean she's right there with her. And then the clients ain't got a problem with it, obviously. Cause they freaks. Oh, oh, (laughs) that's crazy. Why would you let a five year old do that to you? Listen, the Fair Labor Standards Act sets the minimum age for employment at 14 years for non-agricultural jobs. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. The vagina, as much as we love it, (laughs) is not agriculture. Okay? Well, there's a lot of bushes and trees. I'm just saying. (laughs) And it restricts the hours of youth under the age of 16. This kid was five, (laughs) y'all. I'm not saying... I, I, I don't think that this is something that the woman should be jailed for, but there are laws in this country for a reason. She broke up the law. Okay. I, I'm more concerned about the people that's letting the five year old do it. Twenty four of them. That's insane. I mean, where was this? This was this was in Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis. Tennessee. Okay, Memphis. We know Memphis is a small town. Where everybody know everybody. She probably knew all her clients. So mm-hmm. yeah, and all the clients know Lil Bevy. What's her name? I don't know. <laughs> they probably know her. Like hey, you know, they probably know her, yo. That's a tight knit city. Everybody know everybody. Oh man. I don't right. know. Yo. Well, we got Jess with the mess coming up. What are we talking about? Uh. I don't know, yo. Hit me back. <laughs> For real. We'll see you in minutes. It's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.